Hey guys, if your heater fan on your Renault is not working or partially working, you can watch this video for more information on this issue and how to fix it. Before we start, I want to point that my car is Clio Mark III, however this can work on many other models. The parts and their location might not be the, exactly the same as the Clio, however the working principle will be the same. Here is a list with the most common issues. To get it started, you want to disconnect your battery and after that you want to check for a blown fuse. If your fan is partially working, then you can skip that step. However, if it's not working at all, you can check for a blown fuse. Most of the times, this won't be the issue. However, it's an easy fix that takes no time, so you always want to start with that. To find the fuse, just look at the fuse box and check the label on it. Uh, in the case of the Clio 3, the fuse is this one right here or this one right here. The second thing you want to check is the wiring harness. Most of the times changing the harness will fix the problem. My car is the, with the left steering wheel, so the harness will be located right here. Uh, below that harness there is a resistor that uh, gets really hot, especially if you use the low settings on the fan. Uh, that is uh, burning the connections and you want to disconnect it and visually inspect it for any burn on or melted connections. Uh, if there is nothing visible, you can start the car, uh, turn on the fan and really, really carefully wiggle the harness. And if the fan starts, then you should consider changing the harness. I will leave a link in the description with the instructional video how to change the harness. Uh, the video is for a car with a right steering wheel, which is easier to do. It's harder on the cars with the left steering wheel, however, it's doable. Next thing on the list will be the resistor. Um, it looks like this. The green part is the resistor itself. The black connection is for the wiring harness and the yellow connection is for the fan. A sign of a bad resistor is uh, when the fan is partially working. For example, the first and the second settings are okay, but the third one is not working. Then the issue might be with the resistor. To take the resistor out, you just need to remove the two screws and pull. Sometimes uh, you might uh, need to change the whole assembly, but sometimes uh, you might get away with changing the thermal fuse only. Uh, I will leave a link in the description uh, with an article uh, with more information about that. Next thing is the relay. Usually you want to check the relay and the fan last as uh, they are unlikely to go bad. The relay is located right here in this black box. Uh, you can take uh, the box out, then uh, take the relay out, uh, clean the connections and test if the fan uh, will start. Uh, if this does not help, then you can take the relay out, power it and listen if it will click. For information on how to test a relay, you can check online. I will also leave a link in the video uh, with information about the relay. The last thing you want to check is the fan. To get to the fan, just remove the glove box, starting with this plastic piece. Carefully pry it with something. I used a screwdriver, which is not the best idea, as you might scratch it. If you have some plastic tool, it's better to use that. There are five screws that are holding the glove box. Three are right here. One is inside the glove box and one is on the side. To get the one on the side, first you need to remove the door seal and then the plastic cap that is holding the airbag control. After removing this cap, you can see the screw right there. And the final one is inside the glove box. It's really easy to get. After removing the final screw, just pull the glove box and you will take it out. You can put this to the side. And uh, this right here is the lamp for the glove box. You can remove that.
this bracket right here may might be on the way of the fan so you might need to bend it a little bit but not too much because later you will have a problem putting the glove box back in and this black tube it's connected to the bracket itself don't forget to put that uh, when you're assemble everything because uh, this is a uh, line that cools the glove box if you're using your ac there's a little cap inside the glove box that you can open or close for that line and here is the fan uh, to remove the fan first you need to disconnect the cables from right here then you need to remove the connector which is really easy just push this part open it all the way and then just pull towards you to remove the fan you need to press right here just squeeze and then turn in this direction and uh, then you can pull the fan here is the fan it was hard to film while taking it out however here is how i removed it just uh, squeeze on this piece turn to the right and then pull you need to be careful when removing the fan because the plastic is uh, fragile i broke this piece which is holding the cables but another big deal because i used a zip tie later it's a good idea to clean these terminals as well as the connector itself as they get dusty you can test the fan on your battery just connect uh, one cable to the positive and one to the negative terminals and then connect it directly to the fan uh, however be careful because the fan uh, turns uh, rapidly